Okay, it's time for another game on Zoom. It's called Name the Canadian Province Capitals. Well, some of you never knew the Newfoundland and Labrador capital. So let's get started. Michael, what is the capital of British Columbia? Vancouver. Nope. It's not Vancouver, Michael. Gabby, tell me the real capital, not the major city. Victoria. Good one. Victoria started as a trading post founded by the Hudson Bay Company in March 1843 and was officially named as Fort Victoria, after Queen Victoria. In 1852, the name was changed to Victoria and it was incorporated as a city in 1862. Pipster, what is the capital of Ontario? I was thinking of Toronto, despite that city having two airports. Nope. That's not it. Give me the capital, not the major city. Hint. It's also Canada's capital city despite Washington, D.C. as America's capital city. Ottawa, where Ariana of Angela's Galaxy was born. Yes. The name Ottawa is derived from the Algonquin word of awe, which means to trade. The settlement was originally incorporated as Bydown in 1850. The name was changed to Ottawa in 1855. Ariana's parents live there and she sometimes visits them. Melanie, what is the capital of Nova Scotia? Uh, Halifax. That's right. The city adopted its name from Lord Halifax, the president of the British Board of Trade. The name was chosen in 1749 when approximately 2,500 settlers landed on the Chpecto Peninsula to establish a permanent settlement. Gabby, what is the capital of New Brunswick? Note, this province is named after the New Jersey Transit Northeast Corridor Station. Fredericton. Good. This city was originally called Stay. Ants Point until 1785. Governor Thomas Carleton assigned it the name Fred Erickstown after Prince Frederick, Duke of York. Shortly after this it was shortened to the name Fredericton. Michael, what is the capital of Prince Edward Island? Charlottetown. That's very good. In 1764, Captain Samuel Holland was appointed as Surveyor General for the British Empire and tasked with surveying Britain's newly acquired land in North America. He arrived on Prince Edward Island, then called Island of St. John, and recommended both the current location of Charlottetown as well as the name Charlottetown to honor Queen Charlotte, wife of George III of England. Gabby, what is the capital of Saskatchewan? Saskatoon. Nope. Try again. Hint. It's Ariana Roseville's middle name. Regina. Correct. Cree hunters stacked buffalo bones in the area of Regina and named it Oskina Karasadki of the place where bones are piled. Early explorers, fur traders and settlers called the area Pile of Bones. It was decided in 1882 when the town began to grow that had required a more regal name. Princess Louise suggested that the town be named Regina in honor of her mother and the reigning monarch, Queen Victoria. Melanie, before we move on, the correct capital is Toronto, not Ottawa. Sorry about the confusion. It might be a trick question. The name Toronto is derived from an Iroquois term meaning where there are trees and water in reference to a weirs for catching fish. Toronto gradually came to refer to a larger region that includes the site of the present city. Anyways, what is the capital of Manitoba? Winnipeg. Nice one. The Cree named the lake to the north Wim Muddy and Nip Water. In 1873, Winnipeg was incorporated as a city. Pipster, what is the capital of Alberta? Uh, Calgary? Nope. Not the right city, try again. I believe it is Edmonton. Correct. This city was originally named Fort Edmonton by the Hudson Bay Company in 1795 when it was used as a fur trading post. It became incorporated as the city of Edmonton in 1904. Michael, what is the capital of Neft? Akaluit. Good job. Akaluit means place of many fish in the Intitut language. From 1955 to 1987, the settlement was named Frogbisher Bay, after the explorer Martin Frogbisher who searched for the Northwest Passage. In 1987, the town officially reverted to its original entitled name, Iqaluit, and was designated as a city in 2001. Gabby, what is the capital of Quebec? I say it's Montreal. But I was wrong, it's Quebec City instead. Well Gabby, you were right. The origin of the namesake city's name, Quebec, comes from the Algonquin language Narrow Passage or Strait. Originally, it was used to describe the narrowing of the St. Lawrence near the current site of the city of Quebec. Melanie, what is the capital of Newfoundland and Labrador? St. John's. Nice job. There's some disagreement regarding the history behind how St. John's acquired its name. The most widely accepted explanation comes from the Portuguese explorer Gaspar Cordreal, who recorded the area of Rio de San Joaquim in 1519. 
The earliest recording of the modern-day spelling came from an English merchant who traveled to Newfoundland in the 1570s. Pipster, what is the capital of the Northwest Territories? Yellow knife. A color and a sharp utensil or dangerous weapon. Yes it is, thank you for the hint. Yellowknife acquired its name from the Aboriginal group known as the Dutsouding, or Yellow Knives. It became the capital of the Northwest Territories in 1967. Known for its valuable minerals, it has the traditional name of SMBAK apostrophe E, which means money place. Michael, what is the capital of Yukon? It is the color and an animal in the Wild West. It is White Horse. Yes. Originally called White Horse, the name came from the foam in nearby rapids on the Yukon River which looked similar to the manes on white horses. White Horse was incorporated as a city in 1950 and replaced Dawson as the capital of the Yukon in 1953. Okay, before we sign off for the night, let's see what is inside our Tales Landium Gardens real estate fan mail bag. It's an Ali Giant single plane from the airplane shop in Fairfield, New Jersey. If you want to purchase any merch, please visit www.airplaneship.com. If you live in New Jersey, visit the place at 24 Stewart Place, Enoch 4, or call 973244123 for info. Well, gotta sign off, hope to get the stock market up and running again. Next we are going to answer questions from characters that I have. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Have fun with that thing. See you another time. Bye. I'll see you if I don't have streams going on. A special thanks to the airplane shop for shipping this to me. I'm sorry I use next day air. I'll use normal shipping next time. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Bye for now. This is Tim Slendy Christmas Day 21. Four more to go until Christmas. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.